everyone, and today we're gonna show you a actual uh, gameplay where I'm gonna focus on the technical details, and of course, uh, I'm going to show you how to outplay your opponent. So well, let's get 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 it started. So I'm using the Chrome B to tune up with um, a, a new player called uh, <laughs> Farmer. Somehow I already got 2K game somehow already. Uh, so Chrome B. And I want to tell you that on Hemostop, what you have to do is to win the hill. And especially I'm top tier medium tank, there's absolutely no reason why I shouldn't be taking the hill. So let's show you some tricks and tips to show you how to outplay your opponents. And it's, if if you watch players like Quickie Baby or let's say Sir Con or Sir Fosh, they really doesn't they don't give the opponent many chances to shoot back at them. And it's all about doing unfair trades, um, and it's all about reaction time and taking those opportuni opportunistic shots. Um, so let's have a look. T67, just fire at them. Doesn't matter about your accuracy on the stat statistic. Doesn't really matter that much. Oh, this is going to be hard to penetrate. So I immediately would load the premium round here. Uh, because he, you know it's stupid to just shoot him with AP, you, he is going to wreck you if you allow him to do so. Uh, so as you can see the E2 here, I, I need to flank him, I know. If I flank him, I will be able to switch it back to AP round and of course kill him. And here, tracking him will, will actually get you more um, damage, uh, assistance damage done if, if your teammate was able to shoot him. So yeah, it's always beneficial for you to do so. And you see the grill killed him, so therefore I was able to get some assistance damage there. And that's just free XP to be honest. Um, why not shoot the tracks when you're on this on the tank side? And here I'm thinking about something here, but nah, I don't. I wouldn't be able to climb up here. At least not with that sort of velocity. So as you can see, Farmer there is trying to get up the hill all this time, and he said to me that he was <laughs> aiming for a long time but the E2 just smashed him and it seems like Farmer hit the ground there uh, and what I think Farmer should have done is to have backed up as you can see he's getting absolutely wrecked by the E2 here and I'm gonna show you how you outplay an E2 uh, with 80 rounds I have to get inside and here I, I, I'm gonna juke him and you can see I went forward backward and here's this game over for him I preserved most of my health points there was uh, without taking any point of damage simply because that I I was aware that he was using a coward and I moved side by side and this is only 7% and now it's looking slightly better as you can see there's a KB1 and uh, without communication I knew that I, uh, I saw um, Farm Air there going up there so that means he is going to be able to support me with the Dikamax Supreme su Superior Gun Depression so let's just wait, and you can see I am not doing what some of you might have done, just rush down there. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the opportunity when the KB-1 is occupied with uh, Farmer, so I can easily go out and kill him. So what Farmer doing wrong is, what the hell is he doing, just showing him that his whole tank is actually doing. Sometimes it's just, uh, you just had to just scare him a bit and, you know, keep him occupied mentally. You don't really have to sh really take the shots. Uh, I'm not going to pop out there with the RTs all pre-aimed already. And here you can see me do another thing is, I am tracking him. And why do you want to track him here is because he will not be able to shoot you back. And you can see I tracked him, he fixed it, I will track him again here, which I will be doing. Oh, I'm missing it, but it doesn't really matter. This guy is so tunnel vision -y. He, he, he deserves to die really, I cannot see any chance he is getting out of there, yeah he's definitely tracked. And uh, you can see I'm pinning him here where his gun cannot shoot me, he cannot actually see me and I can put every single round into his back and of course set him on fire. Chinu, Chinu can I somehow bounce? Okay. Uh, but I'm not complaining or bounce the shots in my Chrome B and there I shouldn't stop to kill the RT, you shouldn't be too greedy there. I'm telling Farmer that he should get the kills, and you can see I am not trying to stay in the open so the RT will actually get a clear shot on me. No, I'm not going to give them a chance for that. And I'm like, Farmer is your perfect opportunity to do some damage, and uh, I will happily give out, give up my uh, Top Gun. And um, you can see I'm me telling him, but it seems like he's going to noob his way to death. I think. 
<laughs> looking at the way he's gone super close range to a grill where the grill was aimed at him like 10 minutes ago and he still went out and you can see the difference of what I've done here is that I'm not staying still I'm not stopping yet and I saw the SU-8 fire so I've got all the time now but I, I haven't seen that SU-5 fire so what happened is I dig myself right into the building so that the SU-5 cannot shoot at me and I just killed the SU-8 easily and now it's just a <clears throat> just a matter of time until I kill the SU-5. So I try to juke a shot there, but it doesn't really matter. The SU-5 is not going to kill me. And, um, yeah, he does shoot me one, but, you know, GG. Uh, I try to use HE just to make sure I kill him in two shots, but it didn't happen. So, never mind, it was good enough. And, uh, six kills, two point, uh, six K damage. And I, I, hopefully I showed you how you can maximize your effectiveness in the game and really I didn't really take m many hits at all in fact I only took two hits I, I believe and it's all about not giving your opponents the chance to shoot at you and you gotta think quick in your head where should I shoot him to to make sure that he misses you and you can see how I took out that VK there I was cool I, was cool. I shot his tracks and pinned him there in place and then allowed myself to have the chance and also the engagement on the KV-1 where Farm Air was distracting him and I wasn't in a rush to get out and as soon as the KV-1 was looking at Farm Air I came out and killed him so hopefully you have learnt something there and uh, you know use your teammates sometimes uh, it will get you a win sometimes like this uh, where you're not favored to you can carry quite a bit if you listen to the things I have said in this video so hopefully this has been educational to you and uh, we shall see you next time